I'm speaking to Keith Savage, the Buxton Festival Fringe Director. Keith, obviously the festival this year is going to be very different from last year, uh, with the loss of the underground venues in the Old Hall. Why have those venues closed? Um, it's all to do with the um, long-awaited and much-welcome redevelopment of the Crescent. Um, some of the, uh, I think some of the pump apparatus is going to be required to make the spa hotel uh, the five-star experience it needs to be. Uh, some of the space that was required for the pump uh, uh, um, material is going into the, uh, some of the cellar areas of the old hall hotel. So underground venues, which has been at the heart of the Buxton Fringe for the last 12 years or so, uh, two rooms that they used uh, are now being lost because of the redevelopment. So it's, it's, it's obviously very good news for the town as a whole, but uh, an, an inconvenience and a nuisance for, for some of us in other ways. And have you managed to find replacements for those uh, venues? Um, well, we never quite we never quite replaced the uh, atmosphere of, of those of those venues because they they brought something very special to to Buxton. Um, but the team of people that um, <coughs> managed those venues during the fringe are now going to be um, managing the rooms in the old clubhouse, which is a circular thing really because they before they took over the the, the cellar space in the old hall they were running um uh, the clubhouse then who took you going back well originally probably best part of 20 years when when martin beard a local actor and writer and director ran what was called venue 21 uh, in the in the clubhouse so we've got the the, the underground venues team will be uh, working from that space during this next coming fringe and obviously you spoke about um, the development of the Crescent being very good for the festival. How do you think it's going to affect the festival in the long term? Um, well, the obvious expectation for the town as a whole, really, is that it will bring different people to Buxton. It will bring, bring people that have, uh, and without being too crude about it, it will bring people with, uh, with money to the town. Um, and they'll be looking um, you know, to get the most out of their visits to the town. Um, and it's important that we're able to offer the throughout the year, not just in the, in the summertime when the festivals are taking place, but throughout the year, something that will in, engage those people and give them memories of the town so that they'll share those memories with other people, want to come back again. And so so it's, 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 it's important, I think, for the long-term prosperity of Buxton. And applications for performers to play um, at the new venue are going to be opening soon. What kind of thing are you looking for? Well, it's not down to me what happens. I mean, that's down to uh, Tom and Yaz and the, the rest of the team at Underground Venues as to, as to what, what goes on. But it, history tells us that they, uh, the kind of experience you can expect, well, there'll be a mixture of comedy, there'll be, there'll be theatre and drama, there'll be music. Uh, it will be live performances of all sorts, some of it which will make you laugh, some of it which will uh, uh, leave you thinking and, and, and other bits will just have you up, up dancing, I hope. So it'll be a, it'll, it'll, but it will mean for 12 hours a day for the best part of three, three weeks there will be something uh, happening uh, and the, with the clubhouse being so much at the, uh, the, the centre of the town, that's important. But all of that said, I mean, it's, it's worth also reminding people that there, um, there are other venues apart from the underground um, or the clubhouse venues that will be for next year. The Green Man Gallery, for example, up near the museum, um, that, that's, that will be similarly busy. They'll have all kinds of stuff going on there every day of the fringe as well. But, but what underground will bring, um, and it's important for the, for the credibility and the reputation of the fringe, they bring a, a, a professional setup, uh, which means that those people that are visiting the town to put on a show can be guaranteed the kind of technical support they need for the so that their show will be, you know, will be seen and heard as well as it possibly can and, and, and that confidence that people have in, in, in the venue means that we get people performing in the town who perhaps wouldn't otherwise come. Okay and can you give us an insight into um, who is already confirmed to play in the venue? Are, uh, are there any names? Uh, I, 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 I can't I mean, I've got some ideas as to who will be playing at Underground, but they're, until they've signed the contracts, um, they're not going to be putting those into the public domain. But, uh, they'll, they'll be, I mean, for those people that are familiar with, with Buxton and the Fringe, there'll be pe there will be um, well-known uh, people returning to, 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 to the Fringe uh, at Underground. But we've still got, we've got about 20 other act, uh, shows confirmed uh, at different other venues, um, some very exciting things. We, we got picked up over the, just this weekend, in our collaboration with the Buxton Festival, they're putting on some shows and they've confirmed 
a band called the Dodo Street Band, who are kind of uh, 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 gypsy klezmer mixture of music, and they're, they're, they're going to be very exciting for sure. Um, so there's, there's for anyone that, that wants to see what's happening, if you go to the Fringe website, there's already over 20, 20 shows up on there, and there'll be 150 or more by the time we get to the uh, get to the Fringe in July. So there's, there's plenty more to come. Fantastic. It sounds very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all goes. Keith, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. Nice to speak to you.